For those of you unfamiliar with the world of YouTube, Mr. Beast is one of the biggest creators on the platform, and there have been tons of videos made dissecting his success. Jimmy himself has also talked at length about his obsession with YouTube. Any time of the day, I was thinking about YouTube nonstop the last 10 years. Today, we'll do a quick overview of those most talked about points, but then I'm gonna get into the psychological and cultural factors that I believe have contributed to Mr. B's success. I mean, I just really wanted it. You know, I wasn't, I dropped out of college. I wasn't really making much. So I was like, you know, I knew it would go viral and I just kind of had to like, just put in the hours, you know? Yeah, I remember thinking like every day back then, like I'm never gonna be a YouTuber, but I really wanna be a YouTuber. And it just like, this is never gonna happen, but. I'm still gonna try. Jimmy's interest in YouTube started in his early teens. Some of his earlier videos are of him speculating how much money big YouTube channels made, and his obsession with YouTube would only keep growing. One day, I literally got up and we had an 18-hour Skype call, and then I went to bed, and that's all I did. And we were just tearing apart YouTube videos, studying trends and stuff like that. Eventually, it paid off. With lots of hard work, good thumbnails, and fast-paced, entertaining videos, he's been able to make millions of dollars. A quick Google search will tell you that his estimated net worth is around 30 to 50 million, but that probably doesn't account for the fact that most of the money he makes is reinvested and given away as part of his videos. Dead serious, last one of you to take your hand off this million dollar stack of cash keeps it. Tens of millions of dollars have gone into my YouTube videos. I'm and saying I made money, I spend money. Yes. All of it, <laughs> yeah, forever. He started getting attention completing insane challenges. But I think what really turned it around for him was his video getting $10,000 to a homeless person. Uh, I was offered five grand for a video. But well, this was when I was like 19. And this is so much money. It's like, mom, look, look. And uh, I, I was like, double it. And I'll walk outside and I'll give it to a homeless person. And they're like, no, you won't. And I was like, double it. And I had like pacing around my neighborhood for three hours convincing this guy, like on the phone, just double the money. I promise the video will go viral and I'll give it to homeless friends. I was like, $10,000 just looks better in a title. It'll get more views. I promise your, your app will do better. In a way, giving away money kind of became his video format, something few, if any, other creators on YouTube had done, at least not to his level. Slowly, and sometimes not so slowly, but surely these types of videos attracted him more subscribers, which garnered him more attention from sponsors, which gave him more money to be able to give away. And you can see how this starts taking on a snowball effect. In a way, the more people he helped, the more popular he became. So why is this model of video so successful? Well, first of all, the Mr. Beast channel does a spectacular job of holding the people's attention. Jimmy has spent countless hours studying YouTube. Imagine obsessed. spending 10 years of your life only thinking about one thing every waking hour of the day. And his videos are fast paced with practically no dead space or pointless shots, unlike me. He gets straight to the point and his videos are super entertaining. But why are they so entertaining? Well, that's where I believe the psychological and cultural aspects come into play. This is Jeopardy! Wheel of Fortune! People love game shows. You can even see their success in pop culture with the likes of The Hunger Games or Squid Game. But game shows actually began in the early 1900s, at first being broadcast on the radio before making a smooth transition over to the visual media in the 40s and 50s with the advent of the television. And by the late 50s, it had become one of the highest rated genres on TV. And although the format and style are slightly different, the Mr. Beast channel is the epitome of game shows and challenges on YouTube. This is half a million dollars in cash and whichever one of them I tagged last keeps it. I bought this entire island. I have we have 10 challenges and we have 10 people. And the last one of you to leave this island keeps it. Now I couldn't find any scientific research papers on it, but a lot of people seem to agree on the generalizations as to why we enjoy game shows so much. Games are pretty much universal. We all played games as kids and some of us keep playing games as adults. Game shows are suspenseful and a lot of them have a format in which we, the audience, can also participate and learn. And whether it's people competing against their fellow peers or against the game itself, they're competitive and we as a society love competition. For the win! Yes! Yes! People are so invested in this genre that back in the late 50s, when it was discovered that the game show Dotto Dotto was rigged, it received a ton of backlash and was eventually canceled. So game shows are engaging, suspenseful, intellectually stimulating, and competitive. 
This all brings me to the final reason why I personally think game shows, and therefore Mr. Beast, have been so successful, and that is empathy. While watching, we of course imagine ourselves on the game show. We think about how we would respond to a question or how we would act to a given scenario. But we also empathize with the contenders. We have our favorites that we're rooting for. We want to see them succeed, in part because we would want to be triumphant if we were in their place, but also because we like to see others succeed. It obviously brings us joy to see our friends and family do well at something, but that also extends to strangers, even fictional characters. It's why we love underdog stories so much, why we cheer for Rocky and Daniel LaRusso. Empathy might be one of the biggest driving factors behind the success of the genre, and in the case of Mr. Beast, we put ourselves in the shoes of the contenders in his videos. We want them to succeed, and it's super satisfying when one of them beats the challenge and wins the prize. We're also rooting for Mr. Beast himself, Jimmy. If you've ever seen his videos, you'll know that he's a genuinely nice guy who's helping a lot of people out by doing what he loves. We want him to succeed because if he does, we get to see others do the same. So that's the secret. It's a centuries old genre with a modern twist and Mr. Beast style. An engaging game show that's suspenseful yet emotionally gripping and satisfying to its core. Thank you for watching.